This tutorial will show you how to set up the Microsoft Windows Mobile Emulator and install Tracer Plus on that emulated device. By doing this, you will be able to test deploy any applications you create and experiment with the Tracer Plus without the expense of purchasing hardware ahead of time. Written instructions for this same tutorial can be found at the website listed below. Helpful links can also be found on this page. We'll begin by downloading the Microsoft Emulator software. Click here in order to visit the Microsoft site go to vs underscore emulator exe to download the actual emulation file once that file has been downloaded and saved you can return to the tracerplus.com site and select our second download these are the standalone images for the Microsoft emulator uh, which will allow you to set up and open different size screens the click here uh, for the image files returning back to the Microsoft Download Center we found that uh, choosing the uh, Windows Mobile Professional images should provide enough standalone images to give you uh, what you need to set that. This uh, particular file obviously very large uh, will take a long time to download it could expect uh, about 15 minutes with broadband or so we've sped this up for the sake of the tutorial returning back to the tracerplus.com website we can look uh, to installing these images uh, we've started out with uh, downloading go to uh, the location that you've downloaded uh, these particular files double click the exe file and then finish the installation procedure we've also skipped that process uh, it's a standard installation uh, then go to the uh, standalone images to run and install these images on your PC as you can see we've done a little bit of a time lapse for the installation and uh, download of these uh, files next step is to actually start running the emulation and what you'll do here is go to your start menu where uh, you should find a folder uh, the Windows Mobile 6 SDK should now be available. Go to uh, first to launch your now your new emulation. Go to the standalone emulator images. In this case, I've chosen uh, 240 by 400. That it's pretty close to a standard, even though uh, maybe not exactly for all devices, but it serves the purposes pretty well. As you can see here, uh, is an emulated mobile device. Should act very much like an actual uh, device connected to your PC via USB or a cradle. Uh, next step is to launch the device manager. You'll see in here we have some tools and in this case the cellular emulator. That's not the application you want to use. Rather travel to your program files and navigate to uh, the Microsoft device emulator folder. Once you've found this, click uh, 1.0 and go to the exe file that I've highlighted here and launch that instead. That will give you a much uh, more professional uh, management of your mobile devices. What I've done also is created a shortcut and then drop that into my start menu so that in the future I can directly access that application without having to navigate through my computer to uh, find the application. So you can see here the uh, list shows uh, an emulated device. Next step we want to now either open ActiveSync for Windows XP users or Windows Mobile Device Center for uh, both Vista and 7 users. Clicking on the device center you can see that it's not actually connected. Go to connection settings. This is a big step here. Uh, it defaults to Bluetooth. What you want to do is open DMA uh, which is the connection that will allow the uh, Windows Mobile Device Center or ActiveSync. This is the same setting in both uh, connection programs. Uh, in either case it will now read the emulator as though it was a real device. Then select that device in the emulator manager and click Cradle. We we'll see here on this screen as though it were a real Windows Mobile screen starting to show uh, link and then the Windows Mobile Device Center is now connecting to your new emulated device. now that that's connected the next step we'll be taking is 
uh, installing Tracer Plus on that device. Uh, simplest way to do so is to first install Tracer Plus desktop onto your host PC. Uh, that will also give you the design and uh, deployment tool that you'll need to very easily uh, deploy applications to your emulated device. Once we've opened Tracer Plus desktop, you can see I've gone to the tools menu and to the uh, install Tracer Plus onto uh, device. That's the mobile client. We can uh, skip through the actual installation, at least in part, and uh, until the point when we see that uh, we want to check our mobile device to see if any additional steps are necessary. So we'll switch over to the uh, emulated device. See that Tracer Plus is actually in the process of being installed on that emulation. Once this is complete, Tracer Plus will actually launch itself. Uh, showing that the product is not registered as of yet. That's uh, the next step you'll take when you purchase a copy of our mobile client. You'll also need that device ID during the registration process, so note that there. Uh, next step, we'll go back to Tracer Plus Desktop and deploy an actual application that we have available online. We do have a solution center available at TracerPlus.com. Desktop uh, links directly to that solution center and provides free pre-configured applications. Uh, in this case, we're looking at an inspection uh, for fire extinguishers. We're going to do in a few clicks, and this is not actual time lapse. This is real time that we'll be uh, downloading this application into Tracer Plus Desktop as a project. You can see we've got a, a few different sessions built in the check pressure and extinguisher list. Here's the form that we have designed. You can make changes if you'd like. But in this case what we're going to do is simply build uh, and deploy this directly to uh, your emulated device. Make sure the device is once again cradled and therefore connected to Windows Mobile Device Center or ActiveSync for those XP users. Once that's done, it's a simple few clicks of the button and the application you've just downloaded from the TracerPlus.com website solution center is deployed to your emulated device. At this point we will simply try it because our trial version is available. Click on the check pressure and you can see the form now available on the device and free to be tested and experimented with. I hope this tutorial helped in setting up uh, the Microsoft emulator uh, for mobile devices and also showed how quickly you can get up and running with Tracer Plus. Thank you for watching.